Hey guys, welcome back on Lego Gaming Channel. Um, well, I've been doing a lot of casual videos lately, and since this is a gaming channel, we are going to go back to another series I did before. I did two other episodes called Arcade Archive, and where we go back in time and um, review some different arcade games that um, were released back then. And today, we are doing X-Men the Arcade Game, and it was made by Konami in 1992. And it had characters like Wolverine, Storm, and Cyclops, and lots of other characters. Now, if you haven't already seen some of my other videos, we have played the Simpsons Arcade Game and Crazy Taxi. Um, so go check those out after you watch this video. So why don't we jump on in? Let's go. A few moments later. This is just like the Marvel beginning. That's right. It's a Marvel game. Oh. So again, this game was um, made back in 1992. It was one of the popular beat em up arcade games back in the day it was basically put in all your quarters and beat up all the bad guys so you know who those guys are um i'm magneto magneto and his brotherhood mm -hmm. and those are your x-men that you get to choose from you got cyclops wolverine Dazzler, uh, Nightcrawler. <laughs> she looks like Jubilee. She does kind of resemble Jubilee. All right, you ready to give it a try? Yes. All right, so you are going to be playing. And I am going to help you review this game while we're while you're going through it. So, normally this was a six-player arcade game. Oh, really? Up to six people could play. It was on a huge, like, double-screen arcade. Mm -hmm. Oh, was, uh, the cabinet was beautiful. I will remember it as a kid. All right, so this is your character select. Uh -huh. You got the Dazzler. Yeah. Cyclops. Yeah. Colossus. Yeah. Wolverine. Yes. Yeah. Storm. Nightcrawler. So you want to be Storm? Yes. Yeah. All right. So that's Magneto and his Sentinels. Go and save the city. Professor X. All right, Storm. Let's see what you got. Learn your buttons. So these beat 'em up games were pretty popular back in the day, like uh, Double Dragon. Uh, this one was huge back in the day. You had games like The Punisher and Final Fight. So the good thing about you playing on this game today is it doesn't cost you a quarter. Yeah. Because a quarter would not get you very far back in the day on these kind of games. Well, look, you're surrounded by five, six sentinels there. Yeah. But I'm beating them up very fast. Is that a bomb? No. They blow up whenever you um, destroy them. So, uh, game scores were real big back in arcade games back in the day. There was no tickets that you could buy prizes with later. It was all about getting your high score on the leaderboard for everybody that goes to the arcade to see. But sometimes that would cost you lots and lots of quarters. Like how much? Well, for instance, you're on your last life there, uh -huh. so you get three lives, and that would have costed you one quarter back in the day. That's why 
if you had six players to play this game, it helped out quite a bit. So right now, all, all I see you fighting is a bunch of sentinels and... Uh, I don't like how it only lets me do two of a tornado every time. We'll see how it's going by is you're using your mutant power for it and um, it takes up their strength to use their power. So once you use it up once or twice, that's it. So now you can choose somebody else or push continue. Um, you... There okay. you go. That's right, it would have cost, you'd be playing on 50 cents now. The, the colors of this game are just really pop out out there, you know? Yeah, they're You know, another popular beat em up was The Simpsons, which you played not too long ago. Yeah. Go check that one out actually. I think if you, when they're on the ground, if you go up to them and hit them when they're on the ground, she shocks them. You can try that out. Watch. So these beat em ups aren't as popular as they used to be. But arcades were the place to be growing up as a kid back in my time. Oh. Sometimes people would just go to watch other people play these games. Because they were either out of quarters or out of time. What do you mean out of time? Well, you know, like, let's say um, I tell mom to drop me off at the arcade and she's gonna pick me up in uh, 30 minutes oh it looks like your first big boss battle battle it's pyro so is this level one this is the first level yes so what do you think about the game so far i think it's pretty good uh, it's really fun and i think it Simpsons was also made by Konami. Did you know that? Um, I forgot, but I think I did do that one time. Good job. You made it to the second level. Maybe <coughs> you can try out a different character if she... If you don't make it through. So this is just more and more Sentinels. I think eventually when you get to like the savage land, it's like human alligators and mutants like that. Hey, buddy. Did you try going up to them and shocking them when they were on um, the ground? I'm not sure how to do that. It would have been cool if they would have like made some of these characters fly also. Cause Storm does fly. All right, so push up or down and see if it lets you choose somebody else or the right or the left. Nope. Okay. So push the B button, the red one. There you go. And continue for one last round. So if somebody else would have uh, opened the game up with you and they cho chose a character, they would have to be the same character too. But back in the day, oh. in the arcade when you were playing, and if you died like that and then you put in a new quarter, you could reselect your character. Like you could be any of those 
characters in the game. You didn't have to be the same one every time. Well, that's, you gotta go to the left. There you go. Yeah, Konami was a big, big company back in the day that made some great arcade games. They also made the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game uh, and Turtles in Time. Those were also two great beat em ups. What is your favorite beat em up? Uh, growing up as a kid, it had to be this one. As you know, I love my X Men. Did you ever play the Simpsons? Oh, yeah, I played the Simpsons plenty. That's another one. In fact, I think I played the Ninja Turtles before this one because I want to say that came out before. Yes, but they're just a different version. You know, they had to, oh, did you see? You see how you shocked him? I always thought that was cool. If you keep doing that, he'll blow up. Watch out for those vents at the bottom. You're doing really good. Last one. Uh, oh, thank you. Um, well, I am YouTube, but. <laughs> uh, I think you made it to the, oh, I thought you made it to the second boss, but not yet. Oh, very close. I, I, I think it's close. Oh, and well, I, that's okay. You did good. Like it. There's some really nice colors that 